Or, well, it works uh, in uh, a lot of uh, situations uh, that before does not uh, work. May I start? Yes? So, let me say that uh, the changes are in the 1.11.2.0. And more. So the major part of the work has been done the last summer, okay, for uh, um, for a, a specific customer we had. So what is new in really new in LinkedIn? First of all, it is uh, we have made a big review of the code, okay. One. And the second, we have LLDP discovery support. What means that OpenMS is able to discover links that in which that are configured to run LLDP protocol. LLDP protocol is link layer discovery protocol. It's uh, not very popular, but it's going to be popular because it's a low layer discovery protocol. Just uh, the PDU are sent over the specific link. And if the other device has this protocol enabled, they are able to understand and to get all the information they need for the links. And three, finally, we have an OSPF version two discovery support. Okay? And finally, fourth, the most important, we have a lot of integration tests. So this means, what means integration tests? It means that uh, it's, uh, they are not simple unit tests. We don't test the single part of the code, but at the end we test that uh, the links are appropriately discovered. So I put into the test the entire topology of the network, and I run link D over that in the test environment, and I got the data, and I check that every link is where it should be. This is very important because, of course, we are in the process of working more on link D, because uh, the main problem with the link D now is scalability. Okay? Scalability means that the link D is not suitable in networks that have more than 500 nodes. Unless you have a very well, uh, how to say, configuration. Let me try to explain. If you run an OSPF network all over your network, and you have a 500 enabled router OSPF network, you can configure link D to run over that. And he's able to find the topology very easy, because he, the topology is in an SMP table, that is the OSPF remote table, I don't know, we will take a look, in which all the data is there. So it's all the neighbor of the SPF router are listed there. But this means that you should have a very, that all the routers should have the same technology. If you don't know what you have, that's a lot of keys they want to run, link D, it can be in a so big environment, you can have problems, okay? 
um, for example, so which are, uh, let me just speak about uh, the discovery strategy we have in LinkedIn. We have uh, a bridge discovery strategy. Let me say transparent. I don't know. It's a topology demon, so you should know something about networking. <laughs> so I assume that you know what is a transparent bridge. And uh, LinkedIn supports also the spanning tree. So if you have a topology in which you have transparent bridges and the spanning tree enabled, LinkedIn should be able to get the links among the nodes, layer to links. LinkedIn has also an IP root discovery. This is a very poor implementation because uh, when you have, uh, when you walk the IP root table, you can have uh, thousands of entries. Okay, and uh, a medium provider, if you walk the IP root of a router, you can get something like 10,000 row, 10,000 rows. This means that uh, for having only a simple information about uh, who, who is the next hop, because you look at the next hop, you are walking something like 10,000 devices to get three of them good. That's very ineffective. So if you are in a big environment, don't use IP root discovery. Forget it. And then we have this new way, and this are a really very, very effective way of discovery links. Because all the information is an, inside an SNMP table. You walk the data, each row gives you the right information. Okay, so uh, uh, he, who wants to play with the LinkedIn D can go to the example directory. There is a LinkedIn D configuration file. So, don't consider all the IP routes table, okay? But you go to the package, okay? Here you see that you have a default, a default package, okay? By default, every discovery strategy is enabled. This means that for each router, for each device, you have ring this LAN is run it or there. And he tries to walk everything, including the use IP discovery. Okay, sorry, I forgot also to tell that we support CDP. It's strange, I, I wrote it, but I forgot. CDP is the Cisco discovery protocol. CDP can be tricky because uh, LLDP use uh, a frame that uh, cannot, uh, that is not a multicast frame. CDP use a multicast frame. This means that if you have, for example, a Cisco router key, a Cisco device here, another device here of another vendor, and another Cisco device here, okay, if you run the CDP discovery protocol, you get a link between these two because this is completely ignored, so it's like a broadcast. So the CDP packet uh, goes across this one. So the use of a CDP must be enabled with some caution and, and uh, only in uh, completely on Cisco device, uh, completely network. The other solution is to use packages. What means to use packages? Means that uh, instead of running, as in this case, the topology discovery all over the system, you run the discovery on a subnet or limited 
for example, only to particular uh, uh, discovery strategy. So you get, for example, you guys, for example, this one. This is the configuration, okay? Just take a look at this one. I call it VAN. So here is a configuration valid on a wide area network where LinkD try to get links using Cisco Discovery Protocol first and then roots IP root table. This is used especially for a little VAN, it's clearly stated, network with small sides routing table and also with the static routes without routing protocols. If you have routing protocols and Ablet, you have usually wide routing tables. And you see, I said, don't use breed discovery. Don't use OSPF discovery. And I say, just for the network, including uh, it's a 10.1 network, 10.1.1.1, it's very limited. So it's just like, uh, a very limited sets of device you run it. If you go down, you have another example, for example, for Ethernet routers. This is not really very interesting and so on. So, because this is a brief communication, what I can tell you is, before, so, there is a wiki page in which I wrote all what I understand of LinkedIn, <laughs> and there is this example file that will help you in configuring LinkedIn. -E. So, the main rewards, remember, if you have more than 500 nodes to monitor, take care of enabling LinkedIn, -E, and you have to think before enabling it, because the system can run out of memory. Okay? Wait three months, and will be fixed al also this. But uh, I hope. But <laughs> that's actually how it works, because it keeps everything in memory. I have uh, tried, to, uh, tried to explain why we have this problem, because we don't have a suitable object model. That means, and that's why I have to keep things in memory. Because the object model, so when I walk the, row, the table, I get the row. This row is not useful as it is, because uh, my model says that should be made in a different way. And the information of the, how this, this is in another place. So I cannot say, oh, just get the row and persist this information. I have to wait, store this information keep it in memory, and then use later. Improving the model, the object model, we are able to persist the rows as we walk it. That means that that's our strategy to let uh, link this scale, at least for that records uh, memory uh, management. That is the well-known pro problem of this piece of code. So let me finish. I don't know how much time I have. Have time? Sorry. I don't know what time is it. Let me retry. It's, it's late. So just uh, I wanted to show you. So these are uh, the, 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 class, the classes for LLDP. You found here is uh, the you know, in each, in each link discovery, you need uh, to know something like two information. The first, which is the device. And the second, which port on the device. Okay, this information is just, the L each of this discovery protocol has an identifier. And the identifier you can find here, it's just this. Okay, sometimes, you cannot use this identifier, and you can use the sys name of the system. So it tells also you what kind of identifier you have. You don't care there are details of implementation, but we support all type of identifiers for LRDP discovery protocol. I also have been able to discover links 
using LLDP between a Cisco and Juniper router. That's, it's a great result, I think, because, it's only <laughs> because they use different schemes. The, the table that has the information about uh, the, sorry, the table that has the information about the links is the remote table, the LLDP remote table. These are the OIDs. You need to walk to get this information. It's not very complicated. And usually they are, uh, so because a device cannot have too many links, these tables are not too big. Okay. And uh, for, uh, so you find always this. Also for the OSPF, like same, you found that uh, each OSPF has a router ID that identifies the router inside the OSPF area network. Okay, and then you have the OSPF neighbor table entry in which, of course, you have the OSPF IDs of the next. Okay, OSPF is easy. Uh, let me finally try to go to the tests. The tests are uh, here. Okay, and uh, here are so many tests. You see that uh, they are listed by a lot of information and so on. These tests are possible because we have a proxy agent. This means that we can simulate the target network over inside the Eclipser or anywhere in our uh, com uh, compile. So how are these tests done? Let me take this test. OK. So I don't know if you are a programmer or so on. But uh, the first thing we do is just use Spring to create the application context. We import a lot of data. What is important is that we import the application co context proxy minus SMP. OK. When I want to run a test, OK, I have to tell the system that uh, I have a, with this annotation, that I have an SNMP agent and that I have to use the proxy for this SNMP agent. OK, then what I, I do is just more or less the, the following. I, for example, I just, this is a lot of a test, I test the collection, the data collection. So the node DIO just saves the, the object, the node object. Okay? Then I create the package. The package is the famous package in the configuration file. And I set some property globally for the package. Okay? Then I get the, uh, the Cisco nodes from the from the system using the node DIO. And then what I do, I just do, I schedule the collection. That's what is, why I show this? Because it's what LinkedIn does. <laughs> so that's what I do. When you, I want to discover links over node, just that run that one. Okay. And then I say, I schedule the collection. And then I run the collection. So scheduling is something and running is another. Okay? And then I just have a lot of assets, information about uh, the link D and so on. Why this is important? Because if you have problems, we have a test environment for your problems. You give us your walks and we are able to reproduce all these tests here. Let me run uh, just for example, and hope it works sometimes. So for example, I'm testing that uh, there is a link between the workstation and Cisco and the device, OK? Let me try to run this test. Oh. I run? Wow. 
So I say run as a JUnit test. It takes some time. It's launching and so on. And then it does all the stuff. You have the log into the inside of the console. So you can look in a very special, how to say, framework. All the information LinkedIn is, done, is doing. I can say that the log of LinkedIn is very good because uh, before having this test, I have no way of understanding what happens. And the only solution was looking into the logs. So I work a lot on the logs and so on. So it's running the test, it's creating the things and so on. Let me see what happens. Yes, it's just walking. And he says, OK. <laughs> OK, so the, the test is successful. OK, here, you see. But uh, if you look, I don't want. I'm I fin I'm finished. I finished. It. Uh, it's just you look here and you can see everything about this special details. So I create a test. Don't worry, it's a lot of information, of course. I create a test just to be sure that the link D is able to discover at least the link that exists between these two nodes, OK? And that's a good way to see if why something that is not working uh, and so on. So that's uh, all. So I think that be among the others, this is the most important news in LinkedIn, the fact that we have a test environment to check that it's working properly. Thank you so much.